The Gilded Age is full of drama. It's what we've come to expect with the show. However, the more recent episodes of the show have strung up a love triangle that hasn't exactly come to fruition just yet, but it very much feels as though it's going to be in the works in the not-so-distant future. With only two episodes to go until the season finale and us not fully knowing if the show is going to be returning for a season three, I thought I'd share my thoughts, opinions, and theories on who Marion may end up with out of Dashiell and Barry Russell. So let's get into it. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Before I start, I just want to give you a second. Comment who you want Marion to be with, Larry or Dashiell. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm a big believer in that Marion and Larry should be together, but I'm intrigued to see what you guys think before I delve into the video, so maybe hit pause and then come back. So let's start by looking at Marion and Dashiell in this season of the show and how well suited they'd be. Well, it's clear to see that Marion and Dashiell have been spending a lot of time with one another in this season of the show, and a lot of the focus has been on them two being together. So much so that Dashiell proposed to Marion in the most recent episode. It always felt like there was some kind of connection between the both of them, but the more I'm looking back on it, the more I'm feeling like what we saw during the proposal, which was Marion being kind to Dashiell. I feel like that's what the entirety of their relationship has been built around her kindness and her willingness just to go along with it all. If you think about it, there have been small inclinations that Marion doesn't actually care for Dashiell in a romantic way. The first time I saw this was when Dashiell offered to accompany her to the destination which she was going to, and she mentioned that he didn't need to, but he still did anyway, and it felt like she didn't really want him there. She was deep in conversation, but it was cut short because of that. Another moment where it looked like it was too much for her was when she attended the mother-daughter day at school, and she filled in for Francis's mother, Dashiell's deceased wife, and Francis mentioned how Marion slotted into their little family extremely well. There was a look on Marion's face that seemed like she was a bit overwhelmed with all of it, and like she wasn't prepared for that kind of responsibility or commitment. The next time that we saw some apprehension from Marion was when she was returning from being out with Dashiell, and he mentioned how it was a relief that Agnes was only against the idea of marriage for Ada, and not for Marion. He didn't explicitly mention that he was going to propose to her, but he hinted towards the fact that it could well have been on the way. Her response to this was a rather blank expression, and not one that was filled with excitement, something that we saw being replicated when the proposal actually happened. The final time that we saw some kind of reluctance and confusion over how she felt about Dashiell was when she saw Aunt Ada getting ready for her wedding and how she almost had this light that was radiating off of her, which was the love that she had for Reverend Forte. It was here where we saw that Ada mentioned how when Marion had met the right person, she'd know that they were the person that she loved and that she truly wanted to be with. This was a sign as well that she didn't have those feelings for Dashiell that Ada had inside of her for Forte, which could only be described as a burning love for somebody. I felt a real sense of friction and difference in their personalities and opinions as well when Marion wanted to go and teach, but Dashiell simply responded and said to her, it's not like you're a real teacher, undermining what she did and offending her in that specific moment. Then, the climax of all of this was when she was actually proposed to in an ambush-style approach in front of everybody, where she was almost forced to say yes, otherwise it would have embarrassed him greatly. And we know that because Marion is kind, she most probably wouldn't have done that. There was a look in her eye which was that of not really knowing what to do. She looked over at Francis, who was waiting on her breath for the answer, and Marion responded with, If you'd like me to. Which isn't the most convincing answer. Let's be honest, if I proposed to somebody and they said that, I don't know. Two occasions after this, we saw that she didn't know if it was the right thing to have done. For example, she spoke to Aunt Ada and was looking for her guidance on if she made the right decision. And we also saw that she was standing outside of her home and it was mentioned to her about how the day should have been filled with celebrating. To which she said, why? As if to imply that it wasn't a happy time for her, and the proposal wasn't something that she was celebrating, and the marriage also wasn't something that she was looking forward to. I know that the mood of the day was changed with sad news about Reverend Forte, but still, you'd think she'd understand what that meant. Outside of this, in the trailer for episode 7, we saw that she asked Peggy if she was right to accept him, to which Peggy responded with, Are you trying to persuade yourself? So it's clear to see that she's going to be continuing to question if she did the right thing. So, I've literally spent the first few minutes of this video discussing why it doesn't really seem like Marion actually wants to be with Dashiell, and judging by the way that these behaviours have been drip-fed to us throughout the entirety of the season, it seems like she's in a situation that she doesn't actually want to be in. 
Don't get me wrong, there have been many moments where she seemed happy with Dashiel, such as when she was at the tennis with him and she had a smile on her face, and also when they've been in deep conversation. But I feel, again, it's just her kindness coming through and maybe being misinterpreted by Dashiel. Now let's take a look at Marion and Larry Russell, the time that they've spent together, and if there's a possibility that there could be a romantic spark and if it will develop. Marion and Larry haven't actually spent that much time together one-on-one -on -one in this season of the show. We only really ever see brief conversations and encounters that happen on the doorstep as one of them crosses the road. However, the way that she reacts to these encounters gives me an inclination that there's a subconscious interest there at the moment. One of the first times they were on the doorstep this season was when she was going to pick flowers for her painting class, and he kindly asked if he could accompany her, rather than what Dashiell did by just accompanying her and not giving her an option. Plus, when Marion was at the tennis, there was an occasion where she bumped into Larry. In terms of Larry, we know that he was deeply infatuated with Miss Blaine, up until a couple of episodes back where Bertha warned her off. But now, I think that romantic fling might get put to bed. Not the bed where romance happens, but the one where things are stopped. So that leaves him still without somebody to be with. When Marion got proposed to at the gardens, the camera deliberately showed us Larry Russell's reaction to the proposal. Whilst it didn't show much, the decision was made for us to be able to see his reaction. Something which was deliberately done to show that there's deeper meaning to it. Whilst he didn't look unhappy, that was his cue to leave the event. So whilst there's not necessarily any romance that's blossoming between the both of these characters, their friendship is something that I think will prove to be a key reason as to why they may end up eventually falling for one another. In conclusion, when looking at both Dashiel and Larry Russell, it's clear to see that Marion is happier when she's around Larry. I think her time with Dashiel is becoming to feel more like a chore and like an arrangement that she's locked into that she's not able to get out of. And the fear of committing herself to him is something which is making her question everything. Her subconscious has been causing her to behave in certain ways, and we've been watching that unfold in front of our very eyes. I feel she's going to call the engagement off, and whilst she won't run away to be with Larry, I think the friendship, togetherness, and care that they have for one another will be something which will eventually blossom into a romance that we could end up seeing unfold in season 3 of the show, if it gets commissioned. And that's a big if. So personally, I think Marion and Larry are endgame, and Dashiell will most probably be written out of the show following the engagement being called off. That's just my prediction. So, there you have it. If you want to see more videos on the Gilded Age, then click on the card in the top corner. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. Who do you think Marion will end up with? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.